It may appear that I am in a perfectly normal bedroom slash video game setup room, but this is actually the cardboard dungeon where I hide all of my problems. After doing so many Amazon videos over the years, I now have a crippling addiction to buying things and then putting the boxes down here. And we're gonna solve that issue today by basically just making an overcomplicated diorama. We get into City Escape here. We're stuck on this board. I, like, I can't look at things to make things. We could just look up images of, of City Escape. I mean, I can generally see all the assets for most of these images. Like, this one's not too bad. It's like, I could just freehand it. We'll look at pictures to kind of get an idea about the assets we'll be working with. All right. Start off with a box kind of crazy thing. We'll start with this safe. Basically, we're gonna have a slope and then a little bit of flat and then a slope again. And then we're gonna have all the houses and the cars and the trees and everything. All right. Okay, this is gonna be a workout. Now I know there's actually a specific kind of cardboard a person can use to be crafting things. That doesn't clean up my basement if I buy a bunch of that, does it? So what I'm thinking, and it'll be something like this, because I want it to be just a regular slope, kind of like where you start. This will be like a square where it'll be a car intersection. All right, let me glue this on here so I don't have to hold it. I've got my Sharpies there too, so this is just gonna be cardboard and then Sharpies and then if it says big rolling power on it, we're gonna be okay. If we just sit it like this, this isn't a very good looking road. We need this to be up. We need this to be at the right angle. So we're gonna cut some pieces for that. That'll kind of hold that angle for the moment. And this will kind of just go in here. Next, we gotta get into set up for the buildings to kind of decide how we want things to be. You look at this image here. You can see the buildings have these brick bases so that they're not sideways. So we just need to make some angled parts for the houses to be on. Much like the Lego video, this is just another thing I did as a kid. So I have some prior knowledge in how it works. I have a lot of glue for this because we're just lathering a lot of it on here. Yeah, we'll do something like this and then we'll cut it like a staircase and whatnot. Try faster. I don't want to hold this. I need like rocks or like something to hold these in place. It's not often for a video I need rocks. So now we're going to want to use this 90 degree piece of cardboard and mark it with an actual utensil instead of just pretending like I can draw with scissors. Because then it's a platform for the house to be on. And yeah, there's gonna be a lot of me sitting here holding pieces in place while hot glue dries. All you ungrateful fools out there working a minimum wage job and service, just be thankful you're not me sitting here holding cardboard. I do this so you don't have to, so you can work your privileged lives. Ouch! Ooh, okay, that actually burnt really bad. We need to draw bricks on these and whatnot because we're gonna again we're gonna make this look good this is Knuckles, and I'm back. yes i know to all you ocd fans out there i got this one brick wrong i sincerely apologize and we'll do better in the future there is a sidewalk that sticks up ever so slightly okay oh man Cutting sucks. I'm gonna use this piece and try to whip up a tree idea. They're pretty basic trees. So this will be a cutout for a tree. And what we're gonna have is a slit that comes about halfway down here. And we're gonna make it three dimensional as well. About as three dimensional as a tree in Sonic Adventure 2 is, which I, I think they're just PNGs that are always aiming at you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rig, there's gonna be an eye tracker that will gauge where they are and where they're looking at. And then the tree will be on a rotating disc so that the trees will always face the person looking at them. Or we'll just do something like this. Now cars, like I already made this car. This is a super tiny, ugly car. 
That is stupid. Sorry, I didn't mean it. What else? There are stop signs and different such things. Ooh, she's steaming. All right, working on the first house here. And you can kind of see how the houses are designed. They're fairly tall. Here you can see they're a lot more angled. So if I actually did this right, yeah, we've got a little bit of a house. You know, since the Lego video, I have done a lot of pondering. Okay, I'm actually really dizzy from blowing on that. Give me one minute before I go into this tangent. Hmm. So I've been pondering a lot since I did the Lego video and I realized this, this video will be so much better specifically because I have the GoPro angled correctly. Before, it was angled way too much forward and then people didn't see what I was building and sometimes it was, it just seemed pointless to have the head cam in general. So I think that's, that's a pretty big step up and it might kind of really kickstart my YouTube career, finally get my name out there, you know? All the GoPro anglers will be like, man, this guy knows his stuff. And all right, this is dried now. Kind of go like this and it'll look more like a building, like a house, but then we'll have another building here and a corner building here. And now I'm kind of getting an idea of how this is actually gonna look. And then we've got something like this. So it's got a ledge on it. Maybe we'll put a door here. And now we hold this. You may have noticed this is the first time in uh, Peter Kinetter history that I've used three different cameras in one video. And that's for two reasons. One, to have three different cameras. And two is actually because I'm extremely paranoid and I'm worried that one of them is gonna stop working because every time I record, something gets lost. Last time I tripped on the audio cables, I have gameplay recorders go out constantly, cameras run out of battery, this GoPro I don't trust. I mean, granted, it would really suck if the only angle we had was the one that you can't even see me in right now. Gee, geez, okay. You scared me a lot and I don't like you anymore. Yurt. And there goes the GoPro. I said it already, you don't have to yell at me. Well, okay, so we're gonna let this dude charge for a bit. So I'm gonna go upstairs and get food and, and do a few different things. I was maybe gonna leave the footage of this blank wall and absolutely nothing going on down here in the video while this charged, but my intuition tells me not a whole lot of people wanna watch that. So, so I'll cut it out. You guys can praise me in the comments all you want. I won't make you have to set a timer for two hours and make sure you're back here on time, so. I'm just kinda cool like that. So it's been a little closer to 20 hours, but I didn't really do that much. I finished the other side here uh, of the house platforms. So I think it'd probably be best if we just worked on the houses for now. I gotta do some of the artwork on this thing. How do, what? Oh my gosh, how do I keep not drawing lines when I do that? Now, in the meantime, I've also been considering how I'm going to have a Sonic in the road. And it's kind of put me in a difficult spot because there is a certain cardboard character from Sonic that may or may not be associated with my channel that a great deal of people want to see. That being like five, but they're very, very angry people. Sorry, passionate. I like making these videos where it's just making things because I like making things. Making things is fun. I think it's the aspect of like, the fact that things are being made and I'm the one making them might be what I like about it. But the problem with doing these kind of videos is that there's a lot of in-between nothingness going on, such as right now, where all there is to talk about is, I got a rice cooker today. I've never used a rice cooker before. To the two people out there who care, it worked good. Cooked my rice. I guess I couldn't ask much more from it. Put it like right there, so. I think this will look good. Uh, sidewalk. All right, figure out which direction you're going, bud. My forearm feels stronger today. Not even sore, just I think it leveled up. Look at this, I'm even gonna use cardboard to make the pieces of sidewalk a consistent size. If it were physically possible, I'd just use a pair of cardboard scissors. That's how true to form we are here. It's a sidewalk, and I'm actually just gonna glue this house in place because I wanna get an idea of how it's gonna look. Something like that. That's neat. That's going to look neat. 
Woo! Uh, for the higher up building, I say we do something more like this with one of the angled roofs going on. I can remember one of the coolest things I ever made out of cardboard when I was younger was an entire pinball machine. I made mechanical cardboard parts so that you could actually hit the bumpers and it would flick the paddles and all that. I hadn't thought of the fact that when you roll a marble on cardboard, have grooves in it that the marbles would travel down. So it was a failed idea, but it was a pretty cool concept. Yeah, we hold it for a week. I should have saved the pinball story for me holding it like this. I'll tell it again. So I, when I was younger, I could just get like a hot glue clamp. I think that should be a thing. It's like a vice. So my hands are getting so tired from squeezing cardboard together. Sticks out a little bit, it's perfectly fine. Man, I just love the smell of hot glue. The fumes, I tell you. They fuel my creative juices. Ah! And then we take my water bottle. And we're geniuses. Hooray for water, you did it. You're the best water, you, you, you saved my life. Now I can still wait for it to dry, but just be more stupid and wave my arms around because I don't have to hold anything. These are supposed to look like tiles. They mildly look like tiles. In fact, they look more like scales and I did the bottom row wrong. All right, building number two. Yeah, that's not too bad at all. Wow, doesn't it just look great from this angle? I'm super excited about how you can say that the back of the building says PC. Oh, I could now, I, I could move the camera so that it's around this side and then you could see it better, but that'd be pretty stupid. Building's on the other side. It's the sound I make when I'm cold. And this building's got a big old curve in it. While I'm waiting for stuff to dry, instead of just sitting here talking random stories, I'm gonna actually make some trees. Also being very careful to make sure my address isn't on any of these trees. You don't want the infamous box docks, where you get docks because of a box. This is actually surprisingly similar to how trees are made in real life as well. Normally it's done by like a five-year-old in a Chinese factory though. Yeah, it looks pretty stupid from the back and the side, but from the front, it looks like a building that will soon be a building. All right, trees. Cars are the next thing I'm gonna have to make and I'm not 100% sure how, but this one turned out like utter crud. All right, I think I have designed the correct car and we are actually just gonna have to hold this in place. So story time, what do I have to talk about? Hmm. I don't know, I got none. I'm just gonna sit here in silence. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the all new Chevy Stupid. It looks like a car. What car? No car, but a car. Oh, it's driving. Wow, who would have thought that tracing the same shape of cardboard would make all the windows the same shape? Definitely not me when I was making the other buildings. This takes so much flipping focus, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, if you're not watching the Super Mario Brothers Super Show, I'm gonna kill ya! All right, chill. Okay, bye guys. Okay, while I was gone, I actually unlocked a new ability, and that is to make all the cars at once, or at least pretty close to all at once. Have all these like this. With all the parts manufactured, I can now, I'll do the art on them ahead of time, and that's a dude. He's not easy to see, but that is a dude. All right, let's see if these look really stupid or not. Oh, hi. How's it going? Have you ever seen a car before? Would you like to? Yeah, you feel free. It's not a very comfy floor, but... You've been roasted! Hard number two. <laughs> This looks so dumb. <laughs> I legitimately just tried to drink and blow at the same time. Another car. Looks better from this angle. Looks terrible from every angle. All right, next up, we gotta do this, uh, this other side building here. So that's the storefront, and then we're gonna make sort of a curved awning. You got your awnings and your offings. Dash that building, we'll let that dry real quick now. I say 
this part should be up. So there's like a wraparound building and then maybe one long house or something right here. Mmm. Fumes directly in my nose. That should hold up pretty nicely. Different idea. There, just put the whole flipping box on there. That's a little sturdier. Man, who would put buildings on a slope like this? I know I'm kind of making it, but I didn't design this place. Now this part's gonna be fun. The corner house. It's gonna go like this. It's good grief, that's hot. That one hurt. I'm a little afraid of this glue gun now, not gonna lie. That's why you don't play with guns, kids. This building will now have 168 on it. This is how it was in Sonic Adventure 2. These are shrubs and flowers that I'm drawing right now. If I had colors, I'd probably still use black. There. And... All right, so this is actually starting to look like a street here. I'm not gonna put stuff here to block the view, so we'll get a good view from this angle once it's all done. We're gonna put some trees, we're gonna put some cars, we're gonna make a mini Sonic, I have decided. Right now, I just made up my mind. We gotta go upstairs and quit recording for now. Can you please give some words of wisdom for all the people at home? I have never heard anything in my life. All right, it's day three and I've done some contemplating. So in the meantime, I did get this building done. I got some of this road done. I haven't brickified this, I brickified that. Overall, it's looking good, but I was thinking, man, it's been three days and yet we've only gotten this much. And then it dawned on me that 90% of the time is just based on waiting for the hot glue itself to dry. Now armed with that knowledge, I'm gonna do absolutely nothing differently because I don't really have a choice in that matter. Uh, I'm gonna make a billboard here, much like the one on this building. He's got his big old double fingers, whatever, buildings in the background. And I'm not putting the text on, so this is actually gonna go on top of this dude. So we've got that under control. I did make a stop sign. We have to make the road. You see there's like a train track and the intersection is a certain way, so we're gonna do road art right now. I'm probably gonna do one more building here. It'll go like right here-ish, or do we wanna do it like this? So my burn from yesterday was actually hurting really bad before bed, so I put a Band-Aid on it. Does it make any sense to put a Band-Aid on a wound that wasn't even open? No. But I would rather feel good than make sense. You would really suck is if I were a Call of Duty channel and all ever, all anybody ever wanted to see me do was Call of Duty. But I would have this hidden secret desire to make City Escape out of cardboard, and it would just never get fulfilled. Because I'm a Call of Duty channel. And it could have happened too. You guys are lucky I'm not a Call of Duty channel, because back in the day I uploaded this one video. You know, it was like in 2012 or something, back in the day when when like trolling people in Call of Duty was popular and the best videos were like, oh, you found some bratty kid who screams into his microphone every time you kill him. Just upload a compilation of killing him and you get tons and tons of views. I also wanted to upload a video of a kid screaming at Call of Duty because he got tons and tons of views. So here's what I did. Offline split screen with my brother Nick, who was at the time like 10 or something. And I just told him, all right, pretend like you're getting really mad and just scream every time I kill you. That was cringe. And at the time it didn't seem like cringe. But about five minutes after we did it, it yeah, it was, it, was, it was cringe. I don't think I ever uploaded it. There it is, there's the building. Time for some props. Fine, flipping finally. We'll prop it correctly once, once it's dried in there. Again, we'll prop it up once it's dry. In hindsight, I might've made a few too many trees but it should be fine. All right, cars. I'm gonna put like one here. All right, the last thing we're gonna do here, make a Sonic. Just a little, little bitty Sonic. Yeah, I know what everyone's saying. Going to make a cardboard Sonic, just like a cardboard suit, we'll make them the same way. Those cardboard characters are their own thing. We will make something unique for this project and something realistic, because this is a exact replica of City Escape. It's gonna be a weird thing to design here, but here's what I'm thinking. This is not that bad. A little mouthpiece there too. We'll make some arms real quick. Get these little bitty arms on here. Look at this guy, huh? That's fantastic, all right. 
That's it. That's the whole thing. All right, let's get some shots. Rolling around like you're rolling. There's rolling to be done. Gotta make like Loom Biscuit. Can't stop rolling. Please help me, somebody. I'm addicted to rolling. Somebody, please. If you've never heard the City Escape music before, this is probably the weirdest segment of the video. All right, that's it. I don't think I'll be doing any more to that. I actually enjoyed this. It turned out better than I thought it would. And if you're gonna complain that I didn't do the rest of that hill and I didn't do that area over there and the rest of this area, I hope you like stinky farts in your bed. And as for the box problem I had, well, nothing got fixed there.